What's up, happy people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Dara Evelyn, and thank you for clicking on this video. So today's video is all about vision boards. 2020 is finally coming to an end. About time. Kick her out the door. We are done with her. We are through. I'm so excited for 2021. We are praying. I'm praying. I'm strongly praying for a great year because I think we all need it and we all deserve it. So with a new year comes new goals and with new goals comes vision boards. So today I'm going to show you guys my vision board that I created in 2020 and how I manifested some of those things. And I'm going to show you my new vision board for 2021 and I'll also have some tips on how to create your own vision board at home. So first I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some tips on how to create a vision board if you're thinking about creating one for the new year. So my very first tip is to be intentional this is very important you want to be very intentional when it comes to your goals your vision and your purpose because this is going to really help you have a clear understanding about what's important to you my second tip is to set actionable goals and a great example of this is smart goals and i've heard a lot of people talk about smart goals and using that method when it comes to trying to set a goal and achieve it so if you don't know what a smart goal is i'm going to tell you what it is right now so a smart goal is the acronym for specific measurable achievable realistic and timely so with specific, you want to make sure you state exactly what you want to accomplish. With measurable, you want to make sure you can track your process. So throughout the journey, you want to make sure you set many goals that will eventually help you achieve that bigger goal at the end. Achievable, you want to make sure that your goals are reasonable and that you can accomplish them within a reasonable time frame. Realistic, you want to make sure your goals are relevant to your life and that they align with your core life values and your long-term objectives and goals. And lastly, timely. So for each goal on your vision board, you wanna make sure you set a deadline date to accomplish that specific goal. And make sure that you give yourself a realistic date to get it done. Don't try to go into the new year trying to accomplish a major goal within a month when you know it can happen. Be realistic, give yourself time, but set a deadline. And setting a deadline is gonna give you motivation to get it done. Now, moving on to my third tip, write your goals down. I personally keep a notebook and whenever I have a idea or a goal, there's something I wanna do, accomplish, I write it down in this notebook and I constantly update it and keep track of the things that I wanna do. So write your goals down. My last and fourth tip is to use clear and specific photos. Now this is gonna better help you visualize your goals and remind you of what you're working towards. So you don't want to just throw random magazine photos on your vision board, no. You want to look for specific photos that clearly align with what you're trying to do. And I'm going to show you guys examples of that in a second. So those are my tips. Now we can move on to the fun stuff and I can show you guys my vision boards. So first I'm going to start with my 2020 vision board and just show you guys who haven't already seen my 2020 vision board. I have a video on my channel. I'll put a card up here. I actually didn't make my vision board in the beginning of the year. I ended up making it in the middle of the year. So it's my mid year. 2020 vision board so I'm going to show you guys what I put on there and some of the things that I manifested and then once I'm done doing that we can move on to my 2020 vision board and I'm so excited to show you guys what's on that but first let's get into this um, 2020 vision board so this is my 2020 mid-year vision board this is how it looked I hope you guys can see that so i'm going to sit here and try to quickly run through this so 
On this side of my vision board, I had wrote my word for the year, which was breakthrough. Although I had made this vision board in the middle of the year, I came into 2020 saying, this is my breakthrough year. I need a breakthrough. Come on, Jesus. You know my heart. <laughs> so I have put breakthrough right here on my vision board because that was my word and that's what I needed badly for 2020. And I put two Bible scriptures that I love under the word breakthrough that I just kind of constantly refer to throughout the year. So under that section, I have put my professional section and next to my professional section, I have put my personal section. So in my professional section, I have put my YouTube, of course. And in this section, I have put 10,000 subscribers. So that's what I'm talking about when I say actionable goals, okay? Was that measurable? Was that achievable? Was it realistic? Was it timely? It was not. With my 2021 vision board, I had set a more realistic goal, which you will see shortly. Although in 2020, even though I didn't hit 10,000, I hit 1,000 and I'm so happy about that. That was the number that I really wanted to hit for 2020. And that was the number that I focused on the most. So I wasn't even thinking about 10,000 subscribers. I didn't even focus on that number. So I should have had just put 1,000 subscribers since that was obviously my biggest goal and the thing I focused on the most within the last couple of months of 2020. So, you know, it was still a win. It was not that particular goal. A goal accomplished nonetheless. Moving along, I have put on here, take an online workshop or class. I did take a couple of online workshops just about social media, social media marketing, growing on YouTube, just different things. So I was able to do that this year. I also put a new job in your girl that manifested a new job. I was praying, I prayed to God numerous times. He know, I prayed so hard and your girl got a new job. So I'm so happy about that. I also have put my um, book club, Books, Brunch, and Babes on here because I kind of wanted to work on rebranding that. I honestly didn't focus too much on that for 2020. And honestly, it's not something that's a major priority to me right now. This is something I just kind of do for fun and I don't want to put too much stress on it. So I didn't focus on that. So that's not really something that got done this year. But moving along to my personal section, I have put a picture of the Bible because I really wanted to just continue my growth with God, like my relationship with him. And I honestly did that. I joined a small group. My, my good girlfriend, Daisy, had actually started an online women's ministry, which was perfect timing. So I joined one of her small groups and we do weekly Bible study, which is amazing. So that was like one step towards, you know, just building my relationship deeper with Christ and just studying the Bible more. I also put a photo of Trayvon and I, who is my husband, if you guys didn't already know. And I just put that up there just as a reminder to myself to just be intentional with our time with one another because this year he was traveling a lot for work. So when he was home, I wanted to make sure, you know, that we just continue to grow as a couple and spend time with each other and appreciate the moments we have. So I feel like we did do a great job at that, especially with 2020. Just although he was traveling, it was still like a very slow year and he did have a good pause when he was home. So I think that was a big blessing. And now he don't even travel for work no more. So we ain't even gotta worry about that no more. So blessings on blessings on blessings. Moving on, I put this cool photo of the girls from living single i really love this photo and i put that on there because i really wanted to make new girlfriends this year although this year was kind of weird i didn't really make any new friends but i had ever got really close with my husband's friends girlfriends and wives we have a little group chat we hang out we do stuff together so i'm proud of myself for stepping outside of my comfort zone and just doing more things with them without our men 
which is pretty cool. I still have her due for the new year. Want to step out and meet new people and step outside of my comfort zone and push myself to just get out there you know without needing help but we're, we're gonna get into that in a second so that was definitely a goal kind of accomplished this year next on my vision board i put a photo of me in front of the eiffel tower in paris that was my dream trip my dream birthday for my 25th that's what i always wanted to do so i had just put that as a reminder on there to keep dreaming because obviously your dreams can happen so, and a lot of stuff been happening this year, like things that are not even on this vision board have been happening. So obviously that did something. <laughs> but next I have put a photo of myself on here. You know, when your girl was looking snatch because I wanted to get snatch um, throughout the second half of 2020, but obviously that did not happen. <laughs> <laughs> because if you know you know i started a little weight loss journey on this channel and did it finish no but i have really wanted to lose weight in 2020 but i just didn't make it a big priority as i should have so for 2021 i'm coming hard i'm not playing because i've always been low-key kind of snatched and just have myself together but i'm really falling off so 2021 is the comeback season. I have to get my life right. So another thing I had on this vision board was some money. And I had just put money in here just as a way to manifest more um, income into my life for 2020 and did that and did that in different ways. I got a new job. I started a side business with baking. People really enjoyed my baking, so I started selling some baked goods. So that was a second type of income. And third, which was a surprise, I am finally monetized on YouTube, so I can start getting paid. Now, it's not gonna be a lot at the moment, but still, it's something. I also had the word girl boss on here because that's just what I see myself as. And I had a photo of myself on there just because I I don't even know why I put myself on there. <laughs> I guess it's nice to put yourself on there to like see yourself around your goals and visualize all this, you know, coming into fruition for yourself. So that was my 2020 mid-year vision board. Now drum roll for the big reveal. Here is my 2021 vision board and I'm so excited. Bam! You guys, this is my 2021 vision board and I'll do like an overlay so you guys can get a close-up view. But I am so obsessed with my vision board i love it i love it i love it i love it and i was so 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 intentional with it this year i prayed over it like i was super intentional with my goals and what i wanted so let's go ahead and just dive right into it so i put my vision board into this picture frame i had my old vision board in this frame but i took it out and put my new one in there and i like to keep my vision board in my office somewhere where i can see it daily and just constantly be reminded of my goals so that is another tip to do if you want to um have your vision board sitting somewhere nicely i got this idea from erin on the man she did her vision board like this she is a never youtuber and i thought that was so cool and pretty neat and so I did my vision board like that and put it in a picture frame and so when I'm working in my office like I could just see it every day. I'm starting on this side I did the same thing that I did for my 2020 vision board and I put my word of the year. So my word for 2021 is fearless okay. That word has been speaking to me so much lately like I don't even know. I feel like God is just like putting that word into my mind. Like I just keep hearing fearless, fearless. So um, 2021 is my fearless year. So I put that there. I also have put a scripture here. Um, it's Isaiah 12 2 and it says, God is my savior. 
I would trust him and not be afraid. The Lord gives me power and strength. He is my savior. And I thought that was perfect for um, the word of the year. I also had another Bible scripture that I was reading today that I was like, dang, I need to put that on my vision board as well. I may print it out and put it on there. So the scripture I read today was Psalms 34, four, and it said, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. And I thought that, that spoke to me and I was like, wow, that's deep. That needs to go on the vision board. That's a great reminder. So yeah, I may end up adding that to my vision board later. But moving along next to that scripture, I put a photo of myself on there. So moving down from this section, down here is my professional section. And in my professional section, I have a photo that says 5,000 YouTube subscribers. Now, we're going back to those SMART goals. I'm being realistic. I reached 1,000 subscribers and it took me a while. It was a journey. This year, I'm setting a goal for myself to hit 5,000 subscribers and I believe I can do it. And I already done the math. I just need to hit a little over 400 subscribers each month to hit 5,000 at the end of the year. So it can happen if I work hard. It's just gonna take, you know, hard work, dedication, and consistency. So under that 5,000 subscribers, I have my name, Dara Evelyn, and that's currently the font that I use on my YouTube. So I just put that on there um, because it's just basically a part of my brand of who I am online. So, um, I want to grow this year. I want more people to, you know, become a part of my community. So I put that on there. Under my name, I have this certificate. And next to that, I have this photo that says social media marketing with a lot of different apps and icons. And I put that on there because I really want to take some classes and get some certifications in social media marketing this year. Uh, my job, I am a marketing coordinator, so that will honestly help me out a lot professionally with my day job, and it will also help me with my own personal projects. So that's something I really wanna get accomplished this year. I think that would be something very beneficial for myself. And moving along from that, I also put this laptop on there, and on the laptop, um, photo I have wrote virtual conferences and workshops because I do want to attend some conferences this year and just better network and get more insight from people out in the marketing and media field that would be something really awesome to do I kind of wanted to do that in 2020 but you all know the tea with how this year went and i feel like 2021 we still may not be able to meet in person for a lot of things so i do want to take advantage of a lot of the virtual stuff that's happening and possibly going to be going on for the new year so over top of that i have this photo that says lifestyle and it just has like different lifestyle photos food outfits like home decor stuff so i put that on there because this year i really want to start a blog i haven't really wanted to start a blog for the longest of time and i feel like now it's time i just need to do it fearless 2021 it's time to just stop thinking about it and just do it. Stop being afraid and just do it. I really want to get a blog jumping and popping this year. I have so many blog posts I've written in the past, but never created a blog, never posted anything. Like last, the year before last, I had really wanted to get my blog started. Never did it. Now we are two years later and now's the time so i really want to work on that this year just getting my blog started and i think it would be perfect and i can like correlate it with my youtube moving across from that i have a photo of a canon camera because i really want to save up and invest this year and get a new camera so that's why i have that on there and under the camera i have your favorite cozy homebody and i wrote that up and printed it on here because I don't know this year i've really been like kind of like the cozy queen and 
I like that for me. So I kind of want to like brand myself as like the cozy homebody and people just like come to me for you know that feel good cozy content whatever that looks like i i just love that for me i kind of want to run with that and brand myself with that now we are moving along to personal but in my personal section at the top we have a familiar photo so i had this on my 2020 mid-year vision board um of the ladies who i'm living single and i put that again because i really want to push myself out there to meet new people and you know make new friendships here in charlotte because all of my close friends are back at home and i have gotten close to a lot of treatment friends and again i did build a nice relationship with some of my dreamers friends girlfriends and wives which is really nice but i do want to like get out there and just continue to meet new people so i put that on there again as a goal of mine and under there i put a cute picture of the bible because i consistently want to become a better person and grow deeper with my relationship with christ that's something that is never not going to be on my vision board so i have that on there as a nice reminder to myself to continue building my relationship with him and to continue learning the word and reading the word daily and under the bible i have this cute photo of this black art of this girl reading a book and this year i really want to challenge myself to read 12 books which is not that hard but you guys i would start a book and then not finish it so my goal this year is to not only read 12 books but to read 12 books and finish it now if i really don't like it okay I'll, I'll probably stop and pick up something else but my goal this year is to finish 12 books because i have a bad habit of starting a book and then seeing another book i like and then buying it and starting reading that and then i'll see something else and i'll like that and i'll buy that and start reading that i need to stop doing that and finish what i started so that is my goal for 2021 moving along another familiar photo i have my body on there because we're getting right this year we get a snatch no excuses it's happening and i'm already like making the plans for it because it's happening losing some weight for 2021 is definitely a goal just being healthy all around is a goal next to that photo i have this cute art of a girl with a face mask because i really want to work on my skincare this year i never really been super major on skincare but you know your girl's getting a little older so i want to make sure i'm taking really nice um care of my skin so that's something i want to intentionally focus on this year and on top of that i have another black art photo of a girl with her afro because i also want to be more intentional with my hair and my hair growth this year um i really want to grow my hair some more and i'm tired of the length that i'm at and i want more hair growth so this year i'm being more intentional with just protecting my hair taking care of my hair so I can get my desired hair and lymph that I want. And next to the hair photo, you guessed it, some more black art. I have this photo of this girl holding some money because I want to manifest more money, of course, into my life this year. It already happened for 2020, so I know we can do it for 2021. On top of that photo, the last photo in my personal section and my favorite is a photo of this brick house. Let me... I need to get close and show y'all. <laughs> I have a photo of this brick house and this is one of my favorite photos on my vision board because Shreva and I are planning to save this year for our dream home and hopefully by the end of 2021 and beginning of 2022, the plan is for us to buy our dream home here in charlotte and for our new home we want a brick home which is why i put this photo on there and when i was looking for home inspirations i saw this photo i immediately fell in love i was like yes that needs to go on my vision board it's so cute and it looks like a, a two-story house and that's the type of home we're looking for and we want a big backyard um that's major on a list or a brick house big backyard and a nice kitchen and of course there are many other things that we desire for our dream home but those are like some of the top 
things but i'm so excited for this journey and i just i can't wait for it to happen our very last section on my vision board is adventure now this is something new i didn't have this on my vision board before and i think typically people would just put these things in their personal section but i had went ahead and just made a whole separate section for it so with adventure i have put four things on here so the first one i put this photo that just has like different pieces of art it's a girl dancing it looks like she's doing ballet it's some paint on here it's um the theater faces it's some it looks like movie tickets or theater tickets and it's an instrument right here so i put that photo there just to remind me of the arts because i really love the arts and i haven't really ventured out and done too much with it this year of course because of 2020 covid so hopefully for 2021 i can actually venture out and just do more things do more activities like go out painting with friends go out to see a musical a play stuff like that so i really want to do more of that or an art show like I just hope 2021 we can make some progress and the world can become healthy and safe again and next to that i have a photo of the beach because in 2020 i did not go to the beach at all it was honestly kind of scary to go to the beach because everybody in the mama was going we were supposed to be quarantined so i didn't go to the beach at all this year and i really want to go for 2021 and that doesn't seem like something big but I love the beach and since I didn't go this year I want to be intentional and make sure that I set aside time for next year to actually go to the beach and enjoy it and next to the beach I have a photo of Chicago because I've never been to Chicago and with the times we're in international traveling is this not ideal or at least i don't really plan on doing international traveling because if it was my choice i would have italy on here but with me and travian trying to buy our dream home and with covid still out there italy just not seem to be in the plans for me so i tried to put realistic fun things that i can like realistically still do and i've never been to chicago and i thought that would be so fun to do it's easily a drive away um if we didn't want to take the plane so i put that on there um as a cool activity to do this year and next to chicago i have put a, a picture of this cozy cabin room because believe it or not i have never stayed in a cabin before i've never been on a cabin trip to the mountains and it seems so much fun and i really want to do that this year and it seems so cool especially in the winter time when people go and they go skiing or even when it's warm out and people go to the lake and they go swimming in the lake they go fishing it just seems so fun so that's something i definitely want to do this year so that's on my section of adventures and yeah that is my 2021 vision board <laughs> i love it so much because honestly i was so intentional and realistic about everything that i wanted and i believe all of this could happen all of this is going to happen and i'm looking forward to it i'm so excited for this new year i'm going into it with just a very positive mind low expectations but still being very positive and fearless so uh, major moves for 2021 major moves i'm just really excited for the new year i i have a good feeling about it that was my 2021 vision board i hope you guys enjoy everything that i share hopefully i gave you guys some inspiration for some of the things that you could put on your vision board or how you can construct it yourself and this is super easy to do i literally printed all of these photos out um at work <laughs> I did it after hours when I was off the clock, okay? But if you have a printer at home or if you can print at work or even if you have like a Home Depot staples or something near you, like you can easily just print out these photos. I literally Googled the things that I wanted to put on here. Again, be specific with 
what you want to put on here you need a clear visual of your goals so i look for photos that perfectly align with my goals printed those out i also um created these words um fearless personal adventure and stuff and printed those out as well and this construction paper in the background it looks like um it's green it like it's a type of marble or something i got that from michael's and it's like a dollar per um sheet of construction paper if that made me 70 cents i think 70 cents to a dollar like a dollar max something like that but you can easily just go to a craft store get some construction paper and make your background and get some tape get some glue and there you have it all your materials go ahead and drop some comments down below and let me know what you think about my 2021 vision board and also let me know um some of the things that you have on your vision board or some of the things that you plan to put on your vision board for the new year and before you go please give this video a big thumbs up and as always i love you guys i appreciate you and i will see you in my next video